Hey you guys, namaste, this is me Diara and this is another of my pick a card readings. Welcome to my channel to everyone who's new. If you ever want something completely personal and private, feel free to check out my website www.frankfurtpoweryoga.de I'm based in Germany, Frankfurt. I'm a yoga teacher and a spiritual guide. And today we will have a look um, into the question, what are you to them? Okay, you have a specific person in mind. This can be love related, doesn't have to be necessarily. This can be, I mean, you know, we know all how it goes, okay? Sometimes we are very much focused on love, you know, like the whole love thing, the whole love department, things like twin flame journey, soulmates, you know, is this the one? What does he feel for me and stuff like that? You know what I mean? And, but not always. I mean, sometimes, sometimes other things become a little bit more important. Sometimes you are in a specific job situation and you really want to know what this co-worker thinks about you or uh, does your boss like you? Is he thinking about promoting you and stuff like that? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to know something about your sister or your brother-in-law or about, I don't know, your yoga teacher. You know what I mean? So let's just keep it general, a little bit more general today. Let's open up ourselves. Um, take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it, okay? Don't try to make it fit, okay? Don't try to make it fit um, to all costs because sometimes, I mean, these are general readings, right? We all know that. So go ahead, choose your pile. This is number one, number two, number three, and number four. I'm doing four piles today. One, two, three, four. And if you need a little bit more time, just, um, yeah, feel free to press the pause button, okay? Take your time. So let's get started with pile number one. What are you to them? Your person, male, female, not gender specific. What are you to them? When they think about you, what do they think about you? What are you to them? Let's see, what do we have? We have the, um, the Hierophant. The loyal heart, clarified by give your relation a chance and children. And also we have Archangel Michael. Let me dig into the cards because I'm seeing them for the very first time myself. This relationship has to do something with communication and speaking your truth. Um, this is a mirroring connection. You guys are mirroring each other. You are very much alike or um, the funny thing is it could also be that you guys are completely different. Okay, do you know what I mean? It's either this or the other way around. It's either that you guys are so much alike that you really, you could be one agate twins, so to say, right? You mirror each other, you know, like you say the same things, you think the same things, you know, like you, you can complete the other person's sentences. You are made of the same wood, like we say it in Germany, you know, like... Um, yeah, two peas in a pot or however you want to say it. Or it could also be, and this way it may be a little bit more uh, confront, confront, sorry, <laughs> uh, tongue tied here. <laughs> yeah, maybe you get tongue tied when you are with this person as well. But I, I wanted to say something about confrontations, you know, like sometimes people do trigger us. Sometimes people say stuff and it really hits us hard, you know, like they do uh, trigger our soft spots in whatsoever way. Once again, it doesn't always has to be always and only love related, right? Um, can be that you guys are very um, opposite, okay? You are black, they are white, right? You are male, they are completely female, you know, like you are probably a little bit more softer and gentle and tender and they are very dominant and aggressive, if you know what I mean. Um, so this is, as I'm catching the message, this is a, a learning experience for sure. You are a learning experience to them. They can learn some things from you, you know, like especially if you are not so much alike, 
they can definitely learn something from you. If you are a little bit more on the softer way, on the softer track, you know, like very feminine, very gentle and soft and, and giving and, and, and humble, and they are a little bit more like, you know, like aggressive and dominant and stuff like that, very male, you know, like a lot of male energy, they can learn something from you, learning how to become a little bit more softer and gentle learning how to heal themselves you know like learning to allow themselves to lower down their guards and their walls right um could be that children are involved here in this connection could be that this person has children could be that you want to have this person's children you know like you want to have them them babies and stuff um to to them because this is um first and foremost about what you are to them because i mean this person is probably the world to you right you know what this person is for you at least you have a feeling right you have a gut feeling you feel like this is maybe your twin flame you feel like this is probably someone from your soul family we are trying to find out what are you to them here so today the topic is what are you to them and i somehow i'm i'm feeling that this person has to learn to be a little bit more gentle once again i know i'm kind of repeating myself but give your relationship a chance speaks about reconciliation right it speaks about giving each other's second chances yes yes sometimes you fight sometimes you argue sometimes you feel like oh my goodness this will never work out we are simply too you know like too different it cannot work out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that where there is a will, there's a way. And could be that you are in this person's life. So the lesson is to find the way and also to find out whether they really want it. Do they really want this relationship? Do they really want this connection? This is something that they can learn, right? Archangel Michael speaks about cutting cords. This is the angel that's helping you cutting cords, releasing and detaching stuff that's toxic. And could also be that this person, you are in this person's life, so they do learn how to speak their truth. The deeper I get into this message, the deeper I can feel the connection. By the way, speaking about uh, depth, um, I do offer a new reading. Um, I just put it online yesterday. So I do offer three kinds of different readings. Just by the way, since we are speaking about in-depth readings, I do um, offer my regular bestseller reading, which is 22 euros, and you will get it within seven days. Most of the times within seven days, you get your video recorded message. If you are in a hurry, you can offer emergency readings within two days. And um, now I am offering um, a special in-depth reading. If you really want to dig into your topic very deep, you know, like very profound, very much detailed, um, this is a new reading that I'm offering. Allow myself to take a little bit more time when it comes to this kind of reading. I'm traveling a lot. As you know, I'm a flight attendant. Um, so you may have to wait for this reading up to two months, uh, two weeks, sorry, not two months, definitely not two months, two weeks. Okay. Um, and this is going to be very much in, in depth and, and detailed. Okay. Just by the way. So I really feel like you are in this person's life. So they learn to become a little bit more gentle, to open up their heart chakra, especially if this is a male person that we are talking about, you know, like men these days, they can become very, very hard on themselves, right? Um, very much into this whole competition stuff like CrossFit and who can do more repetitions and comparing and judging and stuff like that. Um, you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. So especially if this is a male person, you are in this person's life. So they learn how to open up their heart chakra, how to get a little bit more in touch with their divine feminine energies, and also um, to learn how to speak their truth. Um, sometimes, you know, can be some people, you know, like, they choose the easiest way. And the easiest way sometimes is trying to please everyone around 
And this may be the easiest way because this way you are avoiding all kinds of discussions and arguments and, you know, like fights and, and stuff. But this way you can become very, very depressed because you always think about what you can do to please others, but you never think about yourself. Once again, maybe you guys are mirroring each other. Maybe you are a little bit like that as well. Who knows, right? But the thing is, you are into each other's life. You were brought together so you can learn how to speak your truth. What is it that you want? Don't you think too much about others, you know, like your mother, your dad, um, your nanny, your best friend, your teacher, your boss, your colleagues, you know, the society, your culture, the religious factors. Don't you think about that shit so much? Think about what you want. What's your truth? What's your truth? Speak it. Learn how to speak it. Detach yourself from everything that's toxic. Detach yourself from these kind of patterns and habits that you may have developed, you know, um, in order to please everyone. You are a, a, a precious person and you deserve love and you deserve to be respected the way you are with your own truth, right? Um, so yeah, this is why you have been brought into each other's life. Once again, it can be a little bit like mirroring here in this case, especially in this pile. So maybe this is their message, but it's also your message. Since you are the questionnaire, um, I'm pretty sure this message is also a little bit about you and about what you want, okay? So yeah, this was pile number one. Let's move on to pile number two people. Pile number two, why are you in this person's life? What are you to them? What are you for this person? Ace of coins... Serendipity. Wow, you are definitely an opportunity, a chance. I can say that right away without even having had a look into the other cards. And I do have quite a few cards today for every pile. I can already tell you that you are a chance. You are an opportunity to them. Uh, soulmate. Yeah. Let go of your ex. Synchronicity. I mean, is that to believe? And I know that you, probably some of you, you know, like you will not believe it, but I am pulling out these cards blindly. I don't know myself what's coming. But I mean, what do you say about that here? This combination, I mean, isn't that awesome? Synchronicity together with the Serendipity card. I mean, hello. You are a chance. You are a big, big opportunity to this person. And the thing is that I feel like this person is already in another relationship. I think this is definitely... Um, a soul connection, of course it is, we have the soulmate card here, but the thing is, I feel like this is about love. This is a pile that is definitely about love. Can be that you guys work together, right? And there is some kind of a job situation here, but still this is about love. And what I'm catching up here to make it simple, this person is already taken. You are in love with them big time. You felt it right away. The moment you saw this person, you felt it, you knew it. You know what I mean? Maybe not. I mean, every situation is so personal and individual. I mean, yes, of course. I mean, maybe it was a little bit different. You know, like maybe you didn't felt it in the, in the first place and it took a while for you to recognize them as a soulmate. But anyways, I mean, the bottom line here. And I'm reading the overall energy, the quintessence, you know, like the quintessence is that you guys are soulmates. This is the quintessence. This is the bottom line. Whoever you are, however you guys met each other, you know, like no matter where you are right now, the bottom line here is that you are twin flame, you are soulmates, however you want to call it. But the bad thing is that one of you is already taken. It's either them or you. And you are brought into each other's life and especially you are brought into this person's life um, to discover the opportunity. Yes, you can be married. Yes, you can have kids. You can have obligations, you know, like there may be a lot of strings attached in your situation. You know, like if this person would divorce from their current wife, probably this would be a major financial loss or also when it comes to the culture that you live in, you know, like religious factors may be involved here as well. But still, 
you are brought into each other's life so this person can really discover what they want they can discover their own strength and power they can learn how to step up for what they want this is a major opportunity that spirit is bringing here into this person's life it's based on synchronicity you guys met for a reason for sure right you met at exactly the right spot at exactly the right timing okay this is a guided situation from above spirit is watching you they will bring more and more you know like um synchronicities into your lives um especially when it comes to this person you 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 as the questioner you may not know about all these synchronicities i mean let me give you just a random example here let's just say that you have some kind of superficial connection with this person so far okay and let's just say that <sighs> Um, you are eventually saying that, oh, you know, like you guys are in an elevator and you drove up to the 20s floor and there is this song playing in this elevator and you are like, oh, this is my favorite song currently. I always like to hear this song in the radio. And this person, you know, like inside themselves, they are like, what the fuck? Because this is my favorite song too. They may not say that to you loud, But, you know, like these kind of serendipities, I mean, these type of synchronicities I'm talking about here. And you may not know everything about this person and everything about these synchronicities and all these coincidences, you know, like we all know there are no such things as co uh, coincidences. You are brought into this person's life so they can learn how to let go as well. And once again, this is the pretty part. I mean, as beautiful as this message is, the tricky thing is that this person is already taken or you are taken, maybe both of you. Maybe you are married, maybe this person is married and this is, you know, like um, a four-party situation. And this is a problem, right? You have to learn how to deal with it. You are brought into each other's life in order how to let go of someone as as. Mm, difficult as it is. Yes, you, you probably will break your husband's heart. Maybe this person will break the heart of their wife. Yeah, maybe children are involved and it makes everything so much more complicated. But I mean, if you really want to be happy, if you want to live your life to the fullest, if you want to take all the opportunities and chances that spirit is offering you, you have to let go. You have to let go of your ex. Okay, let go of your ex. This is their lesson. And also I feel like for a lot of you, this is also your lesson, right? And this is why you brought, have been brought into this person's life. This is what you are to them. You are a big, big, big chance and opportunity, right? Um, this is serendipity combined with synchronicity and a lot of soulmate energy for sure right this is beautiful but yeah before you guys can be happy before this can work out you have to let go of your ex and once again i feel like it's more them than it's you but in some cases it can be that it's both of you or this is vice versa right? Maybe this person is completely free and available, but you are stuck in an old relationship. And due to whatsoever reason, you do not dare to let your partner go because you are afraid of the accusations and the, the arguments and everything, right? Or probably, I mean, you, your, your partner once said to you that, oh, you know what, if you ever leave me, I will uh, commit suicide, Yeah, I mean, some people say the weirdest stuff, right? And this is why you are so afraid to let go of your partner. Or maybe this is when it comes to your person. Maybe your person has a woman, a wife, that's um, suffering from depression or another disease. And this is why they are having a very hard time to letting them go and to get through this divorce and break up. Who knows? Yeah, so this is what you are to them. You are a soulmate. You are a big opportunity and a chance. You know, uh, beautiful things could happen between you guys. Even if this is not um, love related, once again, I wanted to keep everything a little bit more general today. So maybe 
I'm always taking this example. Uh, maybe you find this a little bit silly, but I'm saying it anyways. Maybe you are a singer and they are the perfect songwriter, right? Maybe this is um, a producer and, and you are an actress or whatever, you know, like um, maybe you are a yoga teacher and they do have a yoga studio that you can work with. So, you know, like this is a very special soulmate connection and you guys can or you could create beautiful things together if you would if you make it through this breakup because there is some kind of breakup needed before you guys can really really connect on the deepest level okay i hope that makes sense so let me know what this is all about pile number two people let's move on to pile number three Pile number three, what are you to them? When they think about you, what do they think? What do they want? What are you to them? The joker, pile number three. This is the chill out card. Religious factors. Right chemistry. And Archangel Sophia. Archangel Sophia is the angel of wisdom and enlightenment and this angel is asking you to connect with your higher self and your yeah your your roots right your gut feeling your intuition this angel has the power to to show you the right way and and at you, if you are at a crossroad this angel Sophia is helping you To, to find the right ways. Um, so what are you to this person? Whatever person you have in mind, whether this is or it isn't love related, what are you to them? Let me dig into this because I'm seeing these cards for the first time myself. Whenever I do pre um, prepare these piles, I'm always doing that blindly, okay? So I don't know myself. Um, what cards do we get? Let me get a clarification. I kind of need a clarification here. I didn't, haven't done that for the other two piles so far, but in your case, I feel like I want to have a clarification. What are you to them? So what we can say here right away is that the chemistry is right, okay? There are some feelings, there is some kind of attraction going on, but this person is taking it very, very easy. You know, like the Joker together with the chill out card is speaking about very lighthearted and unconcerned energy. Okay, this person is very free spirited. And what are you to them? You are the queen of coins. You are um, a queen, you know, very, very wise. You know, yellow is always in spirituality. Yellow is the color of the teacher and also the healer. Okay, so you are probably a healer to them. You are probably a teacher to them. This is how they perceive you. They perceive you as someone who's very much into spirituality and intuition and all feminine as well, right? I mean, you don't have to be into feminism you know like into your divine feminine energies to be spiritual also men can be spiritual person they are a lot of you know like shamans out there um i also catch up some shamanic energies here when it comes to you this is probably also how they perceive you they feel like you are a very spiritual intuitive person very wise you know connected with higher forces and they feel like you know stuff right you are probably um, a card reader or a reiki healer you know like things like that this is how they see you this is what you are to them um, but they are keep and they like that They like that. We have the chemistry is right. So um, they are probably interested in you. They are probably interested in you and they are probably open or at least opening up these days to probably even date you. Okay, we have the dating card here. So yeah, it could be that this person is already thinking about asking you out for dinner or at least a drink or a coffee, but they, they want to keep it very simple and lighthearted. They don't want to make a big deal out of it, if you know what I mean. I don't know whether that makes sense. Every situation is uh, probably a little bit different out there. 
I'm reading for a lot of people, but with the Joker together, I mean, we kind of having twice the same energy here, Joker and the chill out card. Um, to me, this is more like this person is someone who thinks like, hey, if it's meant to be, it will be. If it's meant to be that I will have a dinner with her or him, it will happen anyways. And they are more like, okay, you know what? I just, you know, like let the court cards fall how they may. And then I see what I make out of it. This is, you know, like um, how they, how they think. Um, also could be that they perceive you as being like that. Probably they think that you are someone like that, someone who's like, hey, if it's meant to be, it will be. I'm not doing a thing here. I'm not trying to make it happen. I will just let it happen organically. Something among those lines, okay? You are a believer. Religious factors in this case, normally I read this card completely different, completely different. But in, if you ever had a person reading with me, you know how I read this card usually. But in this case here today, I feel like this person really, really, really sees that you are a true believer. You believe in God, you know, like you believe in the universe, you believe in the spiritual world, right? You believe in karma, fate, destiny, you know, like all this stuff. Once again, probably you are very much into yoga and healing energies and stuff, shamanism or whatever, angels, you know, card readings, a little bit of everything probably, who knows. And this is how they perceive you. So um, what are you to them? You are a very high energetic person to them. They are somehow interested in you, but they are trying to keep it simple and easy. They don't want to force anything. They simply don't want to force it. This is just the way this person is. Okay, take it or don't take it, you know, like leave it or hate it or love it. This is the way this person is. A very free spirited person. And um, but with the dating card and also the, the chemistry is right card, I really feel like there are some possibilities here for some of you that this could lead into a loving relationship. I mean, how else should you interpret these two cards coming up together, right? The right chemistry together with the dating card. So maybe there are simply waiting for the right timing. Since we have this clock here in the background and this person is checking out, you know, like their watch, how, how late is it? You know, like, is it already time? And so I feel like divine timing is at play here. Divine timing is at play. And this person wants everything to be right and at the right place and at the right time as well. Okay, so this is probably why they are taking it so lighthearted. Lighthearted, not in terms of, oh, you know what, I don't care about it at all, but more like lighthearted in terms of, I believe. I truly believe that it will happen. One day there will be the right opportunity. One day we will run into each other and it's only us and we will have a lot of time to speak about and to connect. Let me get you one final card. One final clarification card here before we move on to the last pile. One more pile for pile number three people. What are you to them? What are you to this person? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. The wedding card came out. So yes, so now we have the chemistry is right. We have the dating card and the wedding card. And we also have the deception card in reverse, which is a good thing. Thanks God. Whew, it came out in reverse because otherwise this whole reading would, I don't know, would it make sense at all at the end of the day with the deception card straight? I don't really think so, but the good news is it came out in reverse. So I feel like this person is probably wearing a poker face. You know, they do not yet reveal what they really want from you. But um, you are special. Believe me, pile number three, it may not look like, right? It may not look like that right now to you. Because this is why we have the deception card in reverse. They don't want to, they don't want you to read them. You know, like they don't want you to know everything about them so far right now, currently. 
but they will open up to you more and more and more. You are special to them. You are special to them. This is a special connection. This is a very special person. You have to take them the way they are, you know, like deal with it or hate it. I don't know. Um, beliefs do play a role here. You know, God, the spiritual world is definitely playing a role here. And the chemistry is right. The chemistry is right. And one day when this person thinks that the time is right, you see that? I know the focus is a little bit bad. When this person thinks that now is the right timing, they will call you, they will text you, they will pursue you and they will ask you out for this date. Okay. But it's, you know, like it's, it's, this person is playing on their own, you know, like with their own rules. And yeah, you have to just wait and see whenever the timing is right, okay? Obviously, right now, the timing is not right because they are very relaxed and chilled out and they are just, you know, like, you know, like taking it easy and, and seeing the whole situation a little bit from a distance. But they have an eye on you, believe it or not. But I'm telling you, this person has an eye on you. Okay, but trying to hide it, right? This is the case. <laughs> so this is what makes you, you know, like coming to this reading because you can't read this person at all. So, but now you know, right? Now you know. <laughs> okay, pile number four. Hello, pile number four people. Welcome. So what are you to them? Your person, the one that you have in mind. Timeless reading, not gender specific, can be love related can be not love related okay let's try to keep it a little bit more general today what are you to them two of swords flexibility letting go unrequited love passion wow this is interesting this is interesting what are you to them so definitely we have a decision here. Um, this person has to make a decision when it comes to you. Two of Swords is definitely speaking about making a decision, you know, like having, you need to, they, they need, really, they need to make a decision. They don't know which way to go yet, but this has to do with letting go here and being flexible enough. You know, you have to be flexible. You have to tolerate. You have to accept things the way they are. There's not always an easy answer to all the questions that we do have. You know, um, this is why the cards are calling you and also calling this person to be flexible enough. L let go. Be flexible enough to let go. Why, what are you to them? What are you to them? I am a little bit irritated with this combination down low. Unrequited love side to side with the passion card. This is a tricky combination. I think I've never seen these cards coming out together so far. So let me get a clarification card here. What are you to them? Another indication for a breakup came out, the retreat card. Um, what are you to them? Honestly, I'm kind of getting the vibe here and this is uh, probably triggering some of you. So be aware of that. Take what resonates. Again, if it doesn't resonate, don't you worry about it, okay? But I'm kind of getting the vibe here that for some of you, um, this person has some sexual attraction when it comes to you. They probably enjoy sex with you, you know, like being with you in a certain way. But is this really love? I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't really feel like this person is in love with you, if I know, if you know what I mean. I know that for women, this can be very much irritating. You know, like this is a very special topic, isn't it? You know, like the difference between sex and love. You can have sex with someone, but you can't, you cannot be in love with this person. 
right? I mean, the most beautiful scenario would always be having sex with someone that you are in love with, right? Loving someone and making love to them, so to say. But in this connection, I feel like um, although this person probably pursues you every now and then for some sexuality, this is not love. Codependency came out, healing family issues came out, the separation card came out here, you know, like together with the retreat card, together with the card of letting go and two of swords. So I feel like, I mean, in some raw cases, maybe just for one or two out there, it can be that they love you, but they are still having sex with someone else and they need to let go of someone else in order to really be with you on all levels. But honestly spoken, pile number four, I don't really feel like this is reality for the majority. I mean, I'm kind of trying to read here the general energy, you know, like the quintessence, the bottom line. I'm using here my personal deck. I don't really like to use it, to be honest with you, because this deck is almost brutally honest. Really, I someday I stopped using this deck for readings because this is so brutally honest, this deck. But today I want to use it. I used it for the other piles as well, so you're not the only one. Don't you worry about it. Um, so what are you to them, honestly spoken? What are you to them? We have the ego card, the presence card, and dare to believe the unthinkable. I think this person has to make a choice. So I think the quintessence here is that spirit wants you to know that this person has to make a choice. They are undecided. They don't know whether they want you, whether they don't want you. They don't know whether this is pure passion and sex or is this more than love? Is this unrequited love? I feel like this person doesn't know it. This person is very much, um, or they, I mean, maybe they are very egotistical, probably, you know, like it's always me, 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 them, 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 and then first of all, nothing, right? Um, and then again, it's them, right? So they have to work out some ego issues, you know, like maybe this person has some self-esteem issues as well going on, right? Uh, maybe this person feels a little bit irritated by you, you know, like, or intimidated by you. They, there is some kind of obsessive energy going on, codependency, being addicted, you know, like being too extreme with things when it comes to this connection. Um, healing family issues is also speaking about Things that you still have to deal with. Maybe you thought you are over with these things. You've dealt with everything when it comes to these things. But no, spirit is letting you know that no, there are still some more things to heal. Um, and again, I mean, the question was, what are you to them? So probably you are triggering them to learn how to let go. This is a little bit, I feel like the energy of pile number one, I think we had it in pile number one. I'm not very sure. Maybe it was the second pile, but I feel like you are in this person's life. So they learn how to learn to let go and they learn how to separate and how to retreat. This is why you are in this person's life. They need some lessons about separation and retreat. And they need some lessons about not being too extreme with things. You know, maybe this is a workaholic. Maybe they are trying to build up and to boost their ego by working a lot and being very, very perfectionist. You know, like, an, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? So definitely, I mean, this is why you are a presence. You are a gift. You are a gift. Although this this situation is probably not easy to deal with and triggering a lot inside of you, you know, like with all these messages about letting go and staying flexible, staying open enough to let go and stuff like that. But still, you are a gift. To them, you are a gift and this person is a gift to you as well. So you both, you know, like you both can learn a thing or two about letting go and a thing about the difference between 
pure passion and lust and love, right? Because still, this is not the card that speaks about true love. I mean, th that would be a great combination, right? The passion side by side with true love, but it's the opposite, you know? It's passion and then it's unrequited love. So maybe this person sleeps with you, but never let, lets you know that they love you. Maybe it's something among those lines, who knows, right? Um, but there is always something to learn and to, and to, yeah, and to, to honor in every situation. You can learn something from every situation that you are in. Right, You can learn something about what you really need and what you don't need, what you like and what you don't like, you know. So this way, this person is kind of a teacher to you and you are a teacher to this person. And this is why we do have the gift card. Dare to believe the unthinkable came out twice. This is so interesting. It came out twice. You couldn't see it, but I saw it. Um, it happened a little bit more here in the background due to the camera position. Sometimes I have to shuffle the cards here because my arms are simply not long enough. So spirit um, wants you to be flexible enough to believe the unthinkable. Maybe this is your true soulmate. Maybe you guys will end up having a family, having babies, you know, like the house, the garden and stuff like that. But maybe not. Maybe someone completely different will come. Dare to believe the unthinkable. What is unthinkable to you? What can't you believe? Can you believe that someone else will be the one for you? Are, or are you very, very much focused on this person? And maybe you are like, no, it has to be this person. And they have to love me. And I must be important for this person and in this person's life. Okay, again, codependency, obsessive behavior. Remember, the card came out. So dare to believe the unthinkable. Maybe you cannot think about any other way. Maybe you can think about any other person to love and to be with. But spirit is encouraging you to be flexible enough to believe the unthinkable whatever the unthinkable is this is up to god this is no one knows right again you will ne never get um a hundred percent precise answer from a card reading never ever this is never ever going to happen no matter how much someone charges you for a reading or any other kind of psychic work you will never get um, a hundred percent accurate prediction. Why? Because life is not a 100% predictionable. You cannot predict life. You cannot predict people. The good news for you, pile number four, is that very soon you will get answers. Very soon you will get out of this, you know, like being in doubt energy. This person will probably make a decision soon, sooner than you think probably. Let me get you one final clarification card. Pile number four. Is there anything else that we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection? What are you to them? You are a lesson in letting go to them. This is one thing's for sure, okay? This is a, you are a lesson to them about how to let go and how to be a little bit more decisive, you know? Yeah, in the, within the next month, you will get answers. A second time card came out. So very soon means you will get answers. You will know where you're at with this person. You will know whether this is pure lust or unrequited love or maybe love or whatever. You will find that out quite soon, pretty soon. And this will lead into improved health. Okay? This will lead into improved um, health. And then we also have look for a sign. It came out in reverse. So you can read it either way, right? I mean, maybe um, you should look for a sign. You should discover and investigate and you should probably really um, make the effort finding out what this is but the card came out in reverse and somehow I feel like can you be flexible enough to not look for a sign 
Can you be flexible enough once again to simply let go and to then see what happens? As if this would be an experiment, you know, like an experiment in, I really wonder what the universe is going to do if I let go. Ha! Huh. I really wonder what's happening if I'm not doing a thing here. What will happen then? Question. And then, you know, like, just lean back and wait how universe works its own magic, right? Wow, that was a very, very interesting spread. I hope it made sense to some of you at least. I know this was not so easy to read here. Um, but anyways, I think that this was a message meant for some of you at least out there. Maybe not for everyone. Remember, these are general reading, okay? Um, so yeah, this is it, you guys. Thanks for being with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Namaste.